Hello guys, this is Ryan's Minecraft Tutorials here, and I'm here, well, I'm back finally, with a new mod. And, uh, yeah, the new mod is Instant Block Mod. Uh, what this technically does is it creates, like, structures and other things from one block that you can craft. Um, I will put the crafting recipes in the top corner, like, when I'm editing, so you guys can see the crafting recipes, so I don't have to go through and craft everything. Uh, these are the blocks. Uh, there's multiple different blocks, each do different things, and there's multiple ones. Each has different amounts of uses. There's wooden, gold, stone, iron, diamond. Uh, each obviously more more expensive than the other, and obviously have more uses than the other. So yeah, I will go into this first and get the first simple few out. Um, these are like standard ones and I'll just start using a couple of the crap ones so yeah I'll first do a wooden house block and you could obviously tell what this does is when you use the wand on it you right click with the wand and it creates a house hopefully that wasn't too loud um, yeah you create a house and in the house is the house of I'm actually going to turn that down a bit uh, yeah, it's just a box and a house with a bed, and yeah, that's about it. And to get rid of the house, if you don't like the house, because if you break everything in the house, then try breaking this block here, which is the actual crafting block. It won't break, so you have to, um, well, it's still, everything's still standing, you break the block, and it disappears. But if you put stuff in the chest, like if I put, uh, I won't put all this in the chest, because I don't want it to, if put these in the chest and then, then break the block. Break, but also they'll pop out of the chest as well. So make sure if you do that to get your stuff out of the chest first. So yeah, that's the um, instant house block. Wooden, I'll just keep that. I may as well keep that up just so you guys can see it. And that's the wooden. That's the wooden one broken already. Two uses. So I'll keep that there like that. So the next one is instant mining ladder block, which you could probably tell by the title what it actually is. I'm trying to think of a good place to put it. I can put it here, I guess. Like, actually, no. Actually, yeah, screw it. I'll put it there. And then you're here with the wand. And, yeah, it creates a mine all the way down to pretty much bedrock. So if I can jump down, there's water, so you don't actually die. Like that. So you can jump down, and there's a ladder to go all the way back up. But, uh, probably a bad idea because I've actually gone down now, it's going to take a while to get back up. So, yeah, while I'll do that, I'll explain the next block. Well, it's called the Instant Glass Dome Block. Again, you can probably tell what this is. It's not a really big dome block, it's quite small-ish. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to say it's a daytime warm up here. Oh, uh, there we go. Right, so what it, it's technically a dome, glass dome, so I'll just go and I'll show you that. Try and find a bit of flat land, put it here. And one, yeah, it's just a glass dome. Pretty bog standard, I guess. You could use it for like a, uh, like a little house or a little storage area, I guess. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of, you kind of make your own little area out of it, I guess. Uh, next one is the instant farm block. Again, you can guess what they are because they just say instant and then what they are. So, uh, where should I put this one? I could put this one over here, I guess, because it flattens the land out, I think. So, I'll put this one over here and hit it with the wand. There you go. Quite a big farm. You get a hoe in each chest, which is good. Crafting table and they've already planted um, seeds. So, yeah. And then you get some stone bricks to make it look nice. So that's that, and then the next, I'll leave this one to last. Uh, so I'll do this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Right. Uh, so what these are, this is instant pool mod, pool block. So yeah, you can kind of, again, guess what it is. Um, I'm trying to, because this is quite big, so I'm trying to, uh, let's put it here next to the water. And then hit it. There you go. Create a pool. Quite a big pool with two diving boards. So yeah, it kind of looks nice, I guess. Jump in. 
little glowstone as you can see inside. It's quite nice. Be good to put next to your house, I guess that house and that, yeah. So yeah, that's that. And the instant escape ladder. Now this is um like if you're mining and you're in a really big mine and you don't know your way out way out. I'll go into here. If you don't know your way out of the actual mine, like you got lost inside. You're thinking, oh no, I've I've lost my way out, I don't know how to get out. All you have to do is place it on the wall. I like how it's animated on the wall as well. Place it on the wall, hit your wand on it, and it gives you a way out. Simple as. It might goes all the way up to the top of the surface, and then you can just climb the ladder and get out. And then if you ever want to go back into that cave again, then you got a ladder. So yeah. And so this one is the instant water block and an instant lava block. For this one, I just need to dig a little, like, well, there's already plenty of water around here, but, um, if I dig, I don't know, I'll just dig inside here to make it into a little, like, um, probably should get myself a pickaxe. Um, if I just go and give myself a, actually, I'd make this doing creative. Um, if I just like mine out this area, like so, and all you do is just place down the water block and then hit it with the wand and it just creates water. And if I wanted to do it with lava, it's just the exact same thing, but I'll just do it in a smaller area of lava because I don't want it to. Um, if you want to create an infinite lava source and do that and hit it, then yeah. Uh, and then this one is the instant suction block. What this does, that's what, that's actually why I came next to this big ass lake here. All you do is you put the block in here and then hit it. Okay, that's too big, I guess. Prevented from sucking in over 1000 water or lava blocks. Okay. So that's too big, I'm guessing. So I'm, I'll choose this little pond over here. So if I put it here, and hit it with the wand, sucks up everything in the water, and then puts it into a little water block. So that's you get a water block. If you break it into that, water, obviously you get it back. And that sucked into 500 and what was that? 542 water blocks. So if you wanted to suck this up, you could like partition it into certain areas and suck it up, and then. Yeah, you could do that. So, next are the last two. Um, so, yeah. What these do is if you put. Uh, I don't know where to put this. Hmm. So, here. And here with the wand. Yeah, it's kind of far up. What it does, it creates a whole like big tube of rainbow colours that you can jump into water. And there's a big ass ladder to get out, which takes a long time. But if you jump down, wee, the water. And then I am just going to. Oh, I don't know where the actual surface is. gonna break out into the surface, I don't wanna climb all the way up there. So yeah. <coughs> Where's my there it is. So there there is the rainbow skydive block. So this one is the instant grinder block which is actually the last one. So I've actually got somewhere set up for this, so I'm just gonna TP to this and drop down. So yeah I've actually got a mouse wanna set up here. So if I break these, I've just broke the spawner, but I've just got the spawner back. Um, yeah, if I put this on top of the spawner like that, and then hit with the wand, it creates this. And it gives you chests. Like that. And, yeah. Um, if you've ever seen like a mob spawner before, uh, what it does, it creates like, if I break through, if you break through, 
Ah, that's not a good thing. Hmm. I should just patch up this lava. This is where the suction block can come in handy. Like if you do this and then you get overflow with lava. You can use this. Alright, so, let's get rid of this bit of iron. Right, so what this is, it creates like a water flow with a zombie spawner and actually put multiple zombie spawners down, it might do quicker. <coughs> so let them spawn, I'll put it onto normal mode, let them spawn. <coughs> Should get out of here. Like that, let them spawn like that. And when that does, it drags them far up. Like you can see through here, it drags them upwards. Like that. And if you get a small one. Like that, and then go into... Oops. Zero, zero. You drop down. And it's better, better doing this with... Um, Skeletons, because you can actually get those and stuff, but these you only get the raw flesh. So you can't really go to the zombies, but you hit them once, you hit them once with your fist, I think. Actually, near enough, but yeah, it kills them and you get three loot, but it's, it's better than it with skeleton spawners. So you get like birds, enchanted birds, like that. So I'll just go back up to the surface. Right, so yeah, that's all the blocks. Um, so yeah, I think with each block you can actually break the original block and get the thing back, but I don't know, I think it only works with the house. So yeah, if you ever want to move your house, you just break this block and it disappears. So yeah, that's the instant block mod also installed. I've got the custom of the craftable mob spawners, but that's just so I can get the mob spawner working. Uh, because if not, it's just a pig spawner. So uh, yeah, so that's that. And um, yeah, I'll put all the crafting recipes in the top left or the top right, somewhere you'll, on the screen you'll see it. So yeah, um, thanks for watching guys, and hopefully you'll see me in more videos and mod reviews of the line in the future, and please like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't, and um, yeah, I'll see you, in the f see you later guys, and goodbye.